What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And as promised, uh, we are now at Kakariko Village. And uh, we're going to check it out. We're going to have some fun here. Uh, there's also the ruins over here. It's been a while since I've actually been here. So we're just going to kind of drop in and see what's been going on. Uh, I don't know how things have changed. I probably need to... Uh, can I go inside a house? Like, can I just like... Oh, I can. Okay. I'm in. Wow. Well, wait. Was this... Was this Impa's place? I don't know. Can I read any of this? Was this Impa's? Or am I getting confused? It's been a while. Examine this. What does this say? Journal of various worries. Okay. I don't think I'll ever find a bed that's as comfortable as the stone slab and the ring ruins. It's so cool and comfortable. I may never be able to sleep on a regular bed no matter how soft ever again. What should I do? Guess I'll sleep on it and figure it out later. For better or worse. Does anyone know how to treat gloom sickness? Anything helps. So if you have information, bring it to Lassil Lastly right away. Monsters appeared at the ring ruin out among the hills that lead west of here, disrupting my research. Is anyone out there capable of dealing with something like this? Uh, it's not from the village, so I hope it's okay for me to ask. Drinja Zonai survey team. The cuckoos used to lay their eggs in front of the store, but they've been wandering off somewhere in the morning. So where are those dang cuckoos laying their eggs? We rely on those eggs for our business. Trissa, High, High Spirits Produce. The secret base is a secret just between me and mommy, so no one is allowed to follow me ever. That's what makes it secret, not Kotla. All right, so we're going to stop reading then. I don't know. Uh, I remember, I, I feel like Imp, uh lived here. Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Examine. ZST, three big ideas. Read this. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's read them. Surveying shrines. The mysterious ruins that appeared due to the upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions we're calling shrines. They are believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Uh, what about surveying chasms? Large holes appeared all over the world. After the upheaval, they released gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Jasha, the leader of the chasm surveys. What about our team's purpose? We of the Zonai survey team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to survey ruins and ancient documents. Through the lens of archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins from the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. We have known very little of the Zonai, but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Toro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Our current surveys are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base in Kakariko Village. Great. So this is uh, the base of the Zonai research team now? I don't know. I'm just speculating. Now what's up here? Okay, what does this say? Diary of a Chief. Read Paya's diary. Sure. Read her diary. One day, Grandmother said to me, You've grown up, Paya. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled. As of today, you are the Chief. And so, uh, it was. Suddenly, I was a Chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like Grandmother, I do have Dorian as my aide, for which I'm grateful. Yet, for some reason, he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear this Chief's hat... That grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear literally it rather hurts my head it happened suddenly without warning i was so frightened by the impact it was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake the air grew stagnant weapons decayed and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds how fortunate that none of the villagers were injured as for the village itself it has been utterly transformed Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that has happened, Grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kato. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed wordlessly to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There were 11 peculiar symbols depicted in the books Grandmother was reading. Could they somehow be related to her sudden departure? 
I told Pura at Lookout of Lookout Landing about our village's situation. She said ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made arrangements with the Zonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself, the same outside but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin, and then she left, just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any words of kindness for our villagers. The Zonai survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader, Toro, is truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tentatively named the ruins that fell upon our village the Ring Ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth, they even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, some of our villagers volunteered to aid research and others for patrol duty. It is humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter, Coco, even crafted souvenir items called Ring Garlands. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors has, had passed. Our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor. Before all else, we must learn more about the Ring Ruins. It is my responsibility as chief to see that it is done. I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village needed of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. All right. Uh, so. Cool. That was uh, quite the read there. We had uh, we had to read a lot of stuff. I feel like this. I mean, maybe I'm just totally wrong. Here, I have a I have a light that's on in my room. Let me turn it off really quick, because uh, it was a little bit distracting. Because this, this room in this town is a little bit dim. Uh, ah, there's Lady Paya. Dorian. Good grief! It's Lady Paya's duty to take care of the village. But whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. I, hmm? Oh. Who? Is that really you? Uh -huh. Link! Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. Uh. All right, now. Two, while our chief is the chief, oh. I suppose you haven't heard the former lady, uh, the former chief, Lady Impa, retired. So, yeah, this is, okay, great. Great, great, great. It's all squared away. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibility. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Uh. Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins, uh, ring ruins with the Zonai survey team. That ruin over there. Oh. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibilities as chief. Would you do me a favor and stop by to see Lady Paya? I will. I really will. Yeah, so I remember this. This is the place where you pray. I remember that. And then this is... Uh, oh, here's a shop. This is new, probably. Hi. You should mark your visit to the Ring Ruins in Kakariko Village. How about a Ring Garland? They're made uh, with lots of love, and they're only five rupees each. I'll take one. Oh. Thank you. Before you go, I'll add an extra little bit of love to it. Mwah. <laughs> Here you go. Great. Wait, what do I do with this? I literally don't know what to do with this right now. Okay, I'm gonna... That's it for today. Oh my gosh, what do I do with this? I guess I just carried it around for a little bit. I don't know what the heck to do. I I was... Okay. Let me... Uh, this is probably the inn, right? I, I remember this place. Let's go here. just want to take a peek. Oh, come on. Welcome, friend. Those eyelids feeling heavy? Then you've come to the right place. Pick any bed in this inn and it's yours for a paltry 10,000 rupees. <laughs> I'm joking. You should have seen the look on your face. Woo, yeah, I don't even work here. I saw by hoping to catch some Z's when the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. He said he had to go make up the beds in the survey team tents and that he'd be right back, but uh, I don't think he's coming back. I want to look for him, but there are only four tent camps in this village and only w one me. Ooh. Could you maybe track down the owner and tell him to come back already? If you run across some sleepy-looking guys spacing out, you found your man. All right, great. Uh, What about leaving this place really quick? Do you think I can... Uh, Let me take a look at my shields. I think I can, like, fuse it with this reef or something. There we go. I got a pretty little garland on my shield. What are these for, by the way? 
Not today. It's just, it's, does this have a, I will, I will eventually find out if it has a purpose, right? What is this? That's a place to cook. What is this? Pot lid. I might be kind of confused on the layout of this place. Like maybe, it, maybe it's different than before. Or maybe I just don't remember it very well. Welcome, hi. Hello, welcome. I'm sorry the old fellows who stock this place are busy driving off monsters. They've gone off to the ring ruin that's among the hills that lead west of the village. So as you can see, we're almost out of goods. Oh. Those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of that problem up there. I can't go and check up on them, and the longer they're away, the more worried I get. All right, Codger's Quarrel. Dear me, apologies for going on and on about my old worries. So what can I help you with? Recommendations? I usually recommend the swift carrots. That's my main grow. That's that's my that my Mister grows, but he's the problem. Here's the problem. He's gone off with that other old fella to drive out monsters. Okay, great. Yep, 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 yep. yep. I'm good then. Ah. Ah. And then uh, probably another store here. Welcome. So this is a big store indeed. Have a friend-filled day. Whoa. Ah. With everyone making such a fuss about those ring ruins, I'm glad to see a young lad like you visit my humble arrow shop. You must be a fine oh. archer. If Luralin Village had more archers like you, then maybe things wouldn't have happened like they did. What? Mom? If you want to hear about my hometown, I, I can talk your ear off. Luralin Village is a small... Fi oh, is this where the pirates invaded? It's a small fishing town on the southeastern coast. And it, it may be out of the way, but it has shops and such that you'll find only there. Our village is a lovely place. Mm. But then it was seized by pirates, and everyone had to abandon the village. The villagers were scattered all over now. The leaders of the village... The leader of the village is desperate to save Luralin, but who knows what'll happen. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to take us in such dark directions. Oh. No helping it. Now then, back to work. Uh. All right, great. See ya. <laughs> I'll eventually get over there. I mean, it's just like, there's only so many things I can do at one time. So, yeah, I, uh, that was Impa's place, I think. Because I remember, yeah, I used to enter from, like, over this way or something. And then I would come down. Yeah, I, rem I remember now. And then that was, yeah, I remember. I remember the layout. Just my approach on this place was a little bit different than I, I'm used to. This means, is that a guillotine? What the, oh. No. <laughs> I thought he was making a guillotine. Yeah. Ah, Link, good of you to come. Too curious to stay away. Who are you again? What a droll sense of humor. It's me, Wordsworth, the ancient Hyrulean scholar you met at Lookout Landing. Aren't you curious about my findings here, Link? Oh. This is a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrulean I had, to, I had in storage at this research lab. Here's what it says. One's held... Okay, what? What? Thereafter to Suster... To, okay, let me just read it. One's held why... Honor all's halts made to King Raru and Queen Sonya. Thereafter to his sister and to Princess Zelda. Here on the great stand in, in 12... Mo... With they'll make ye indictment time with the royal family... So, Mitch T. He Hero, remembrance preserving for the sake of him on whom our hope is... Okay, mm. there's not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names King Raru and Queen Sonya, the founders of Hyrule. That means Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she will write about the, the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Oh. It certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain of someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in any other of the texts we've unearthed so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. Ooh. What's written here must be the start of first-hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Did you notice the number 13 there? That means there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. If a royal chamberlain really left these, oh. it's an interesting perspective on the day-to-day -day life of the era. Oh, one which the history books don't mention. There's so much we could learn here of King Raru, Queen Sonya, and even this curious woman named Zelda. Mm. Twelve, sto twelve stone tablets left. Oh. Fascinating. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. 
All right, messages from an ancient era. I don't know how long it's going to take me to find that kind of stuff, but I'll give it a go. Anything in here worth it? Examine. Caleb's journal. Sure, let's read another guy's journal. Why not? While Toro and I were taking a break, he asked me, Hey, Caleb, what attracted you to join the Zonai survey team? A little flustered, I answered that I heard its research division was led by a brilliant man by the name of Taro. Because of you, essentially. I mean it sincerely, and in my heart, I long to continue. You're not like those other dollars, you know. You immediately grasped the breadth of my vision. Of course, no such thing passed my lips. But I am certain that Taro and no one else is the man who can help the world see my indescribable worth. Our leader Taro has done nothing but surprise me since I joined the Zonai survey team. One day I arrived at the research site to find him sitting on bare earth as he stared at the stone slab. I wished him a good morning, and to that he turned to me and said, Ah, Caleb, sorry I didn't notice you. Working overtime today, huh? I thought back to the night before. As I was heading in, I saw Toro sitting on bare earth examining a stone slab. It hit me then. He had stayed up all through the night puzzling over the slab, never moving from his perch. I felt a profound envy of his ability to focus so completely that the passing of time escaped his notice. It's a researcher's duty to use his wisdom and intuition to bring to light historical truths which the ruins would keep secret. We carry on the work of our forebearers and continue our pursuit tirelessly, then pass what we learn to those who come after. Our leader Toro understands well that this is not a task that can be completed in a single generation. He says this is why he wants to make so many discoveries, even if the credit to whom they belong is lost. That's the sort of man Taro is, but I, Dr. Callop, won't be so easily satisfied. My discoveries will be noteworthy, to be sure, but it is my name that I want to live on forever. Not just in people's memories, but in books, stone tablets, and, if I might be a trifle immodest, landmarks. Callop Valley, Callop River, the Callop Hills, my dreams recognize no boundaries. Okay, Dr. Callop, wow. <laughs> Wow, uh, wow indeed. Well, we got like this place. This is a clothing store. So yeah, we're talking about like, you know, buying the regional armors and stuff. This is, oh, the stealth stuff. So I think I might have one of these, right? But this is stealth up, which is, let me, well, I'll double check. Oh, dude, yeah, this stuff is cool too. This is a radiant tights. This is a glowing stuff. I bet this makes, yeah, it makes the depths easier. I don't know. Anything wrong with you? Huh? Oh, uh, welcome. Sorry, I must have drifted off. I'm just so tired lately. Look, I know it, it won't help to talk about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. My grandmother is really sick. I'm running the shop while my little sister, lastly, is looking after her. We're sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. I'm sorry about this, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. I've had to hike up the prices on everything we have in stock. It's just for now, though. As soon as grandmother is healthy again, I can set our prices back to normal. Uh, I know I shouldn't bring my home situation into the shop with me. It's nice to get off my chest, but I probably shouldn't have dumped it all in that customer. Okay, time to salvage my professionalism. Ah. I'm so sorry about all that. Allow me to welcome you to Enchanted. Ah. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CC branded fashion unless you go to Southeast uh, to Hatino Village. But why go there when you can meet all of your fashion needs right here? We serve both style and quality. What's the CC brand? Ah. The CC brand is a fashion phenomenon that's getting attention all over Hyrule. I can't believe such a hot brand came out of Hatino Village in Nakluda. I hope my sister can go there to study fashion, but mm. with our situation at home, well... Oh, excuse me. Do you need anything else? Okay, talk, talk to me about your situation at home. You see, my grandmother's sick in bed with a strange illness, and my little sister, Lastly, volunteered to take care of her. Yeah. Lastly, was supposed to be studying fashion out southeast in Hitino Village by now, but she loves her grandmother so much that she's put her dreams on hold. I'm sorry about this, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. I've had to hike up the prices on everything we have in stock. It's just for now, though. As soon as grandmother is, is healthy again, I can set her prices back to normal. Uh, no. I don't know if that's like a mission. Do I need to like buy stuff? I mean, 5,000 is pretty, pretty steep. But I don't know like how to help her grandmother, you know? I don't know. Maybe there's a way, maybe there's not. I'm not did, did I not go in here? I did go in here. Yeah, this place looks like it got dunked on. And what was this? It's gonna be back to the village. Someone's asleep. Let's scare them awake. Coco, father. And who's this little one over here? This one's Kotla. Don't follow me. All right. All right, all right. Oh, and pumpkins. What does it say? Oaken's pumpkins. See, Oaken to discuss purchases. I'm just going to go in and take them. Not really, guys. Come on. Did you think? I remember this. There was like fireflies in this area, right? 
Maybe. If I walk over here, maybe I can catch some. I think I remember that. I thought I remembered it. There you go. There you go. I'm done. I'm done. This place is big. I'm glad to be back. This won't work either. What to do? At this rate, Grandmother's health isn't going to... Uh, and Claire is so busy running the clothing shop. I'll just have to do it myself. I'll find a cure for my grandmother. What's wrong? Are you a traveler? I guess it doesn't really matter who you are as long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She's got too close to that nasty gloom stuff, and now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is about, to, is about the only thing she can keep down right now. I've been trying to mix in ingredients that could help with gloom sickness, but none of them have any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better, and I need to do it soon. I don't really know anything about it myself other than it does to you other than what it does to you when you touch it. My grandmother was cleaning up East Hill for the survey team when she first noticed the chasm. We know now that the chasm is a source of gloom, but she had no idea. When she tried to take a look, she got exposed, but there's got to be an ingredient that counteracts gloom sickness somewhere out there, right? It's my grandmother's favorite, made of Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. You might not normally think to mix those ingredients, but it's surprisingly good. I bought a bunch of Hylian rice and milk from the merchants who travel the road to the west, so I'm not hurting for those, Aww. but I still haven't found that crucial ingredient that fights off gloom sickness. <laughs> what cures gloom sickness? I feel like I should know this, but I don't. Does anyone know this? Let me go up here. There's another house. Oh, that's a grandmother, right? I don't know who you are, but I'm sorry if you have to see me like this. I'm dealing with an illness and don't have the strength to get up. If this is about the clothing shop, please. Illness. The other day when I was cleaning up the hill, I got too close to the chasm. That's when I accidentally touched that gloom. It seems to have taken quite a toll on me at my age, but don't worry. I'm all right for now. My granddaughter Lassie is looking after me. She, she should be just outside the house. This poor girl is very worried about me. I need to get better soon. Okay. I feel like I heard someone talk about it in the game, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I picked up something and I saw something. I don't know what this will do, but let me look at my inventory. Does anything in particular, like, heal gloom? Like, does anything look like it could heal gloom? I just don't know. There you go. Dark clump. An unusual substance. Where did I get this dark clump? It's cold to the touch and seems to be, uh, though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in a in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Now you know, gloom resistant or gloom healing. Uh, that's the that's a thing. I don't know. I don't know what would heal gloom. Part of me wants to just search it up, but I mean at the same time. If I don't figure it out like by the end of the episode, then you guys can leave me some comments. Let me know what heals gloom. Let me go over here. Just to see what's going on. This place is empty. Alright. And then... Uh, so I think we basically have found everything, right? Like we've basically been to all the places. I know. I don't want to take those things. What the heck? They're going crazy. Wait, what? I just got close. I didn't touch you guys. Hello? <laughs> All right. Hello. This is Melly's cherished plum garden. If anyone but her goes in, the guard cuckoos attack at once, though I guess that warning comes a little late now. There's also an important experiment in cultivating sundelions going on here, so that's an even better reason not to enter. This area is off limits. I'm borrowing the plum garden from my sundelion cultivation. The sundelion is a new species of plant. The first one was found on ruins that fell from the sky. I believe that means they grow on the sky islands. I'm still in the middle of my investigation, but early results indicate they have some sort of relationship with the gloom. If I can prove that, I think they might help those suffering from gloom exposure or aid our research of the depths. In any case, it's rare to find them on the surface, so I'm using the village's plum garden to see if I can cultivate them. Gloom isn't my area of expertise. Luckily, there's a specialist on the survey team. I consult him on gloom-related matters. So, Sundelion. Alright. Man, there's still more to explore here, isn't there? I don't think I've been... Are these the stores over here? I, well, I haven't been to this place, wherever this is. Uh, 
All right, an empty, empty house. I like it. I like it. No reading to do. <laughs> uh. Is that a golden apple? It's golden apple for me. It was for me. Uh, let's see. Regular apples. Lots of carrots. I better not take. I want. I don't want to take anyone's gardens. Oh, there's a well. There's a well. Let's see what's down here. So they're eventually gonna have one that has like spikes at the bottom, right? They're just gonna like you're just gonna go down and it's like just a death <laughs> trap. That's what I would do if I were designing the game. Whoa, this looks like much more than a well. But maybe it's just a well. Oh well. Almost looks like a maze. There's a treasure. Oh, an eightfold blade. Oh, I don't feel like I need it, but let me see what I can do. Do I have anything that I haven't? I mean, everything I basically have fused already. Let me just leave it. It'll be there one day if I need it to ever again. Uh, let's see. Something going on down here, huh? All these apples and stuff. Whoa. I mean, this looks like someone's private stash. It looks like I would, you know, I'm just taking from them. Let me read. My beloved husband always gives it his all when working in service of others. I admire that about him. He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and in good spirits. That's why I make him a tough meat stuffed pumpkin using fortified pumpkin and fresh meat. I was thrilled that he kept saying it was tasty and going back for more. I hope it filled his heart as well as his stomach. My little Kotla, my perfect girl I love her so very much, she is truly the apple of my eye. Speaking of apples, she seems to have quite the taste for hot buttered apple. She's like an adorable little squirrel, always stuffing her cheeks full of them. If I could, I would cook endless amounts of apples and goat butter to keep my little one happy. This is recipes. Coco is my precious treasure. As a sibling, she's an absolute sweetheart. She cares so deeply for her little sister. Ever since Kotla was born, Coco doesn't ever whine or complain anymore. She is so strong and so wonderful. Luckily, Mommy knows that Coco loves energizing honeyed apples. It's a tad difficult to collect the honey, but as so long as I carry fire with me, the bees won't attack. I I would go to any lengths to see my Coco smiling face. Even a few bee stings here or there are well worth it. Great. I feel like this is somebody's, though. But they're mine now. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez, gosh, dang it. Where have you guys even been? And now suddenly you're here. So scary. You know, I should try to... Should I, should I go ahead and try to make that? Just so that, like... What was it like? Okay, here. Let's just craft a few. Let's just make a few things really quick. So, like, we have uh, pumpkin and meat, right? So we hold that, and then we hold uh, raw meat. Let's just do a raw meat, and we'll cook it. See what, see what we cook up. What? No. All right. No, don't eat. Hold. Pumpkin. And let's do raw gourmet meat. There you go. Even better. Zip. <laughs> Tough. It's my defense up. That's great. All right. What about the thing that... Uh, there was a sundalion, right? Where's that? Let's just, can, let's just cook this and see what we get. <laughs> Sun, yeah, so, yeah, restores... So, I wonder... I mean, I don't know what she's going to want exactly, but if I could tell her, like, hey, Sundalion does the trick, would that be enough, you know? I don't know. Let's just, I feel like I've... 
Let's get out of here. It's been a 30 minute investigation of Kakariko Village. I don't know where the heck I'm going. Okay, cool. That's actually really cool. So yeah, I'm used to kind of entering it from like this type of angle maybe. No, actually I'm used to entering it from like over there. But you guys get the idea. Let me go talk really quick. What the heck was that? All right, what about... Take care. Okay, let me let me try cooking like right in front of her. A porridge that okay, so a porridge. What makes a porridge? Like rice and hold on, what is she what did she say? Let's see. Porridge. Rice, milk, wild greens. Rice, milk, wild greens. I don't know if I have wild... I don't know if I have milk. Let's see if I have milk. Do I have milk? I don't know if I have milk. I have... I don't know about wild greens either. Let me, let me just cook in front of her really quick so she sees what I'm making. I have rice. She said she has everything. Look at this. Look at that. What do you think about that? Alright, you know what? I don't know. Rice, milk, and wild greens. Who are you? Melly, hmm, are you the one of those tourists who come to poke around the ring ruins? A lot of older folks live around here. This little village used to be as quiet as a dusty old tomb, but then Paya became chief, and lots of youthful types have been coming around. Now it's quite lively. I just worried that with all the new folks running around, something might happen to my plum garden. Plum garden? The previous chief planted these beautiful plum trees on the day I was born. They're a part of me. I take care of them like I would take care of my own children. Cory over with the survey team shows my trees proper respect, so I let her use part of my garden for research. She uses it to grow something called a sundalion. It seems important, so I keep careful watch and don't fuss with it. I just gotta figure out who in the world sells milk. And, uh, and you know, milk, rice, wild greens. Maybe, you know, maybe back home, Lookout Landing sells milk. I have no idea. Anyway, I need to go visit uh, someone over here. They're all so high up. Oh. Hey there, kid. Did you come to see the ring ruins too? We might bump into each other when we were running around the village seeing the sights. If you want to learn about the ring ruins, be sure to ask the Zonai survey team uh, people over there or the village chief. Ooh. They're the only only—they're only the most amazing sight to see in Hyrule. Of all the ruins that fell everywhere, these ring-shaped wonders are only in this village. Five of them. They found a stone slab with Zonai riding on four of the ruins. These, those ancient messages are the main reason I came to this village. The problem is I have an extreme fear of heights. My legs start shaking if I'm even on the second floor of a house and every ring ruin fell somewhere high up. One of those ruins is floating above part of the village so at least I can see it from below. The other four though, forget about it. I can't even get close. I wish I could, I wish I could find out what's on the stone slabs in each of those ruins. A trip through history. In those stone slabs I would take a picture and bring to this dude over here. Let's chat. That's disappointing, says Toro. And how about you, Miss Lady? Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The, w the way part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all of those special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. <sighs> oh, no. I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only since I still have a great deal to... Hmm? Oh, is that you, Master Link? It's me. I'm so happy that I get to see you again. It's Paya, the chief of Kakariko Village. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Uh. What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. Uh. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. 
She ordered us to all stay far away from the ring ruins that float above us no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Hmm. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't about to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pai and I suspect, at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. <gasps> oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He is truly an incredibly talented individual. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting context, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Mm. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Mm. I can't investigate as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Ooh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm. She must have some reason. Until we find Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Not me, though. I can go in. Oh. What are you doing? Mm. Under Princess Zelda's orders, everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you. Oh. Princess Zelda visited Kakariko Village recently. Her orders were clear. Of all the ring ruins, this site is off limits. She left before giving any sort of reason why. Maybe she wanted to keep the villagers safe. Ruins aren't known for being structurally sound, after all. Right. Well, you know, I don't know how to get there except to go the other way. Uh, let's just go around. And let me just climb up here. I don't mind going up here. Let's see. Oh, that's not very tall. All right. Ring ruins then, huh? So, I know it says they're off limits. But are they? And what are these over here? The ones that have fallen. Can I do anything? Like, interact with these in any sort of way? East Hill. I was taking a peek over at this one since this one was kind of off to the side or whatever. I don't know if these count as ring ruins. They seem like something, right? Maybe these are just decor for the game. No. Let me get this way. I know, I know. Come on, Linky. Uh, it's on the other side of that. Ah. What is that? Is that one of them that I need to take a picture of? Let's take a picture anyway. The stone slab of the eastern ring ruined some translation notes. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and time. Light, who holds the power, secret stone, and that person dwell within. Power, amplify, great, might, display. The thrust of the message on the slab is almost is about something called secret stones. Those who held power, such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light, and time, amplified them with secret stones. They use the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. That's what I'm guessing it would say if we could read the whole thing. All right, so I got a picture of it, though. So that's one of them, right? That's one thing. Oh, hi. Right back to work. Oh. Morning. You came all the way out here to see the ring ruins? I'll be. Watch your step if you don't fall into the, that, that chasm or get personal with any gloom. Mm -hmm. If you just can't help yourself gloom-wise, look for our resident gloom specialist, Eba, by the tents. 
Anyhow, the chief here is determined to keep the ruins open for viewing. Just steer clear of the stone slabs and the ring ruins. Can't replace those. Huh. Did you know five? Count them. Five ruins fell around here. They're called the ring ruins. We discovered stone slabs inside four of them inscribed with Zonai writing. Each slab tells a different story. The one in this ruin is about, let's see, mm. wind, fire, water, lightning, time, and no. light. That was it. It says that people with powers like those could amplify them and with secret stones to perform great. So, so wait. I have four of those. But there's time. I was, I was suspecting Zelda would be like time, and then there's light. What? Oh. If you want more of a synopsis, you can take a look at the translated text posted to the slab. The writing is so ancient that I couldn't begin to tell you how to read it. But Toro is pretty well versed in Zonai stuff, so I had him write it down for me. Mm. What a shame we can't enter that floating ring. I bet there's a slab in there packed with juicy information. I'll get to it. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. That floating ring is going to have some juicy, juicy info. Is it up there? Is that what we're talking about? We're talking about floating ring. Is it that one up there? I'm a little bit confused on... Uh, Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, let's get back over there then. Uh, is that the floating one they're talking about? I mean, if it is, it's super, super easy. It looks super easy to get into. Before we do that, though, let me take a look at this one over here. Hey, you there! Come here! I, why would I listen to him? I'm not going to listen to him. Oh. Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near that ring ruined by Princess Zelda's order, so you better not... Okay, wait. Uh. Well, how come I can't go in? Come on. Well, what the heck? What do I do? <laughs> How do I how do I get in? Oh come on, dude. Are you kidding me? How do I do it? Oh my gosh. That's infuriating. What's the way around that? Let me go look at this one over here anything new oh all right I really I'm really a little unsure about what to do yeah let me just fast travel here how do you get up in the ruins? Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm a little confused because I, I mean, I really do need to get in there, obviously. That's the floating one over there. But then there's this thing over here. They're talking about five ring ruins. Or four, and then the floating one makes five, or something. Alright, let's take a look over here. Let's take a look at this, this ring ruin. Uh, I mean, they've kind of built structures around here to allow for me to explore them.
Oh my, wake, oh my, wake up. My lovely hearty travel fungus and my dreams, your aroma is unmistakable. You may hide, but my nose knows. What is happening? Wake up, oh please, wake up. Saguro's not far off. If he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs, a priceless artifact. I'll be the one who gets it. Stone slabs? Ah, yes. Yeah, stone slabs are, well, slabs. Like the one this guy's sleeping on. The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of the ring ruin sites here. They found this one in the ruin above us. Huh. Our leadership is able to read Zonai writing in it and says the text on this slab is a record of a historic fight. One that was between a great king of that era and the demon king. The ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprisoned that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought beside this ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. Aww. It worries me to know this discovery talks about the demon king's return and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he comes back. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to think and fret at the same time here. You can read the deciphered writings for yourself. It's right next to the slab. Where's the inn owner? Huh, the inn owner is, it's him, that guy there. He came to change our beds, but then uh, I realized he'd fallen sound asleep. Nothing wakes him up. I tried shouting and shaking him, nothing. What's more, he decided to doze off on top of this priceless stone slab. He's been saying truffle now and then. Maybe he's having a dream of eating a hearty truffle. Mm. I wonder if he'd wake up if he smelled one right under his nose. But it's hard to get a hearty truffle. They're pretty rare. I did find one, however. Oh. It was bobbling, bobbing, okay, under that waterfall. Okay, I can get back, I can get to it. I gotta do something about this guy soon, so grows in the ruins above, and he'll come back here eventually. Right, so if I, do I have one is the question. It's an iron shroom. Hey, now get your feet off the stone slab! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Well, hearty truffle then. I was trying to put it there. Alright, so please be careful. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, let's just throw a hearty truffle. Gotta scroll all the way. Where'd it go? Where'd I throw it? All right, hold on. There you go. A gentle aroma with a strong, hearty undertone. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now. Get out of here. Uh huh. What, was that just a dream and where am I? Oh. That's right, I was changing the beds. Anyway, thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the end. Ooh, that, that traveler is going to be so mad at me. All right, so he's going back to the end, which is good. I can get my hearty travel. I don't know what happened to the one I threw. And then camera-wise, I can just take a photo of it. Right there. And then I read. The stone slab at the large ring ruin. Some translation notes. The demon king, vast power, no hope, victory, king's own life, managed to imprison him. Imprison, not indefinitely. Prepare, demon, revival. We say just must leave our knowledge. Future generations. Reading between the lines, the stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the demon king. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I'd guess at something like this. The reigning king determined that, the, that they were no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. The sages tried to leave something for for the people of the future who would have to prepare for the demon king's revival. I knew that. <laughs> Alright, so that's two. Oh, great, a map. Hold on. Let me uh, take a let me take a photo of this too. Hold on. This will be super helpful, I think. Cool. So that is uh, one of them. I see a ring up over here, which we've already seen. I don't know if there's like another ring like over here. I bet if we go up and up and up, there might be another ring. Unless wait, that no, this this one was extracted from this ring up here, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think that's what it was saying, basically. And there's a ring way over there. 
But where could they be? Hmm, the Pura Sinju, I'm Suguru. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Islands. I mean, look at all these fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Huh? Wait, you're not with the survey team? This is an official Ring Ruins research site. It's dangerous here for civilians, <laughs> but if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer questions, um, as long as they're about the Sky Islands. What are the oh. Sky Islands? You know when you start daydreaming and stare off into the sky, and then you go, Whoa, a floating ruin? That's the Sky Island. Oh. Remnants of the Zonai civilization like these Ring Ruins have fallen all over. It turns out they come from the Sky Islands, which means <laughs> the whole Zonai legacy is up there. The islands are untouched, so everything must be well-preserved. <laughs> I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go on about the Sky Islands forever. Anything live up there? Uh. We're not sure what lives up there, but we found new species of plants around the fallen ruins. And if there are plants, I'm sure other things live up there too. Oh. If you're inter interested in that sort of thing... Oh. Try 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 talking uh to Corey. She's our resident plant expert. Right now she's trying to cultivate plants that were attached to the ruins. If that interests you, you should definitely ask her about it. I'm not boring you, am I? Uh so what makes you curi curious? Hmm. I want to know more about armor made with Zonai Tech. Clothing and culture are tied together and there's so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger the Sky Island, the bigger the settlements. And we think some of some sort of cultural relic must be up there. But since we can't go get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have to content myself studying the Ring Ruins. Oh. We don't have a way to get to the Sky Islands, at least not yet. I'd love to go someday. But the f I bet the folks in Terrytown could improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. Improve the balloon. So is that another ring ruin over there? So there's... Oh, oh and then there's one over there I haven't been to. Uh-oh. What is that? Is that some glue? Oh, that's the chasm, I bet. Uh, so I've been to this one. I've been to this one now, technically. And then, uh, furthermore, there's one over there and one over there. It's so foggy. Did I not go to that machine over there? Is that, the, is that not the machine that I saw? That is the machine I saw. Okay. Well, I kind of want to climb this, so let's just do it. Here we go. I don't know if I see any body. Oh, noops. All right, let's, uh, well, hold on. Are there going to be, like, any rooms up here? This could be very interesting if they had rooms. Oh, there's a treasure. Look at that. Look at this. What is this going to be? A large Zonaite. Okay. I now have 50. Is that what I needed? That might be what I needed to get. Yeah. This is great news. Wonderful news. If I remember, I'll go at the end of this episode to, to the depths to exchange that. Uh, right. Okay, let me get up to the top. What was he looking for, by the way? Oh, no. Okay, that almost fell. I bet you that's a Korok. Heck yes! All right. All right, uh, let's head over to this other one. Where's Tulin? There's a monster up there. There are monsters here. Uh-oh. Got one. All right. Who else? There's a balloon. Up here. Ow. Stop it. <laughs> All right, let's fight. Uh-oh. 
Ooh, that was a big hit. That was too big of a hit. Hold on one second. I forgot that they can hit so hard sometimes. Let's eat this. That one, no! Oh, God. Let's eat this. Let's eat a couple roasted acorns. Let's eat a blackened crab. Let's eat a fish. Stealth up. Uh, that'll, uh, I don't know. All right, what are we doing here? No, what the heck, dude, what is my problem? Oh my God, uh. Get out of here, dork. So painful. Okay, Kadra's quest updated. How so? Okay, nice. Giant bright bloom seed times five. Uh, there's probably gonna be something back here. Oh yeah, there's another one. Let's grab that camera. Awesome. And then, what does it say? Uh, the stone slab at the nestled ring ruined. Those who most elite among the granted qualifications are chosen as sages. Those were these secret stones and henceforth sages. Clearly the sages are the subject of this slab. Filling in the blanks, I think it's basically saying talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. True. You're not telling me anything new, though. Tell me something I don't know, and I'll be happy to discuss it. No. How is this a mystery? Sturdy long stick. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what else are we doing? Oh, yeah. It's going to break in. You know, both. You know, Bo. Come here. Come here, you know, Bo. You know, Bo. Let's go, you know, Bo. Ah, boom. Ah, another treasure. Perfect. What is this going to be? A strong sword. So, but I already have that one, right? But. Well, here, let me let me open it up again. Uh, let's see. I already have one. Let's just ditch this boomerang. I'll take another strong Zonite sword or whatever. Um, hey, let's ascend. I need to cook. I need to cook a lot more meat, honestly. What's this? Uh, so yeah, I can make a balloon to get out of here, probably, maybe. This will be here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do, uh, hold on. Sure. Why not? And then, uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet there's more stuff up there. More mysteries of the ring ruins up there. Um, let's see. And then the secret, the question will be how, well, how do I? How do I, once, once we do that, how do I know? How to get into that other ring ruin that's been just there, you know? I don't know the answer to that, frankly. But the main thing I'm doing here is uh, getting a path to the other ring ruin on the other side. And then I do want to go visit that area. I don't know, like, what I'm going to find, but that's an interesting place. Oh, yeah, and then there's a dragon here. Dude, I don't know what to do about this dragon either. Uh, where's the ring ruin? I thought one dropped over here somewhere. Am I wrong? That's the one we were just at. Okay. Oh, it's over there. That's right. Here we go. There's the big chasm. I wonder if monsters have uh, taken over this area too. Hold on, there's probably... Silent Princess. Oh, oh, oh. 
All right, so we're going to be looking for the other... And this will be four of, of the, you know, four of them, basically. Once we figure out where this is, there it is. This one seems relatively peaceful, so let's be happy about that. And I hope that this is exactly what we need. Uh, this one says what? The stone slab of the southern ring ruined. Who protect of Hyrule from the demon king together? King, there were known as sages. What I take from this is what it, uh, is that it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it's something something goes like there were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the demon king. True. True, true. I did that. No, not me, but they did that. Someone did that. So this looks very similar to the the previous one, except no, the other one had two treasures. This one doesn't have any so far. Okay, yeah. Huh. I guess they don't all need treasures. Okay, so... What are you doing? What are you doing running around? Hey, hey, I'm supposed to talk to you, I think. What is it? If you excuse me, I have to go check check on the Sundalion. Okay, yeah, I understand. We talked about this already. And... Kind of a bit confused now at what needs to happen next. But I want to go. Did I look at these already? I think I read this. I don't know where to get milk. But I'm curious if I were to. First up, we're going to go down here. Where is... I think it's over here. This guy wants to see the photo. I think this is the guy that likes the photos, right? Yeah. I must learn fast. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought you wanted to hear more about this. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Visual evidence is a reward. Oh. Oh. Wait, did I not... Did I not take... Oh. Oh. I'm so confused. Maybe those aren't the tablets for him. Mm. I'm a little confused at what's going on. So let me just... Uh, try to solve the issue and figure out where milk is. Because I am a little confused right now as to what, what's happening. And maybe those weren't the stone tablets he was interested in. Maybe these are very tall or something. And so maybe I'm getting them mixed up. I don't know how to get to that fifth one, though, because that guy's just standing there guarding it. I don't know what the, what the you know, I don't know. I want like can I can I sneak like is it gonna be like do I need to be sneaky like do I you know what I mean like I'm sure we'll figure it out there's also a bunch of stuff up top to go look at which is gonna be definitely something what is that and yeah, there's something over there too so many mysteries so many things to probably look at look for I feel like I've been up there have I not yeah I've been up there. I don't know what this is. Well, I want to. I want to fast travel. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to fast travel back home. I say home, but I want to fast travel back to uh, Lookout Landing and see what we can uh, see if they have milk for sale. Let's go. I don't really know, like, uh, if I can make a porridge. Like, I I could practice making a porridge or something, like, like rice and milk, and then like uh, wild greens. But the wild greens would be maybe sun. I don't know if wild greens is like its own thing. But I don't have to know immediately. Let's go see if that's milk over there. So, so let me look at it. It must be totally different that I'm supposed to take a picture of. Like I thought I was taking a picture of the right thing, but no. He's looking for this. 
which is its own thing, yeah. I'm assuming he has a picture of this one, but just in case, like, this is... Just in case this is part of it, I will take a picture of this. Alright. Let me go see if milk is for sale over here. I know there's rice. There's milk. There you go. Fresh milk. I'll buy them all. And then I'll also buy uh, the rest of the rice, too. All right. So if we were to practice making a porridge, what does that look like exactly? Like if we go down here and we make a porridge, we hold one of these and then where's the milk? How do we sort this? Can we sort by yumminess? <laughs> uh, type, there's some milk. And then let's let's you let's just first we'll just do this. I mean I know this is like tedious, but let's cook just the rice and the milk. See if that's what it takes to make uh, porridge. <laughs> it makes milk. All right. <laughs> rice, milk, and sundelion. Oh, that's a fun sound. This makes a sunny veggie porridge. Great news. So, uh, let's fast travel then back to Kakariko Village. We'll go over to the shrine over here. That's where it is, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. And we'll figure it out. I don't know if I can just present her with the porridge or if I... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, she'll tell us. I might have to cook it right in front of her so she learns the recipe. I don't know. But they're making a big deal about the Sundalions. And I want to help somebody before we... I don't know how to get up there, by, by the way. Maybe uh, maybe it's a later thing. But maybe it's a now thing. Where are we situated? Okay, yeah, over here. Tulin, where are you at? First of all, I'm dropping in on these guys. How's your Sundalion research coming along? Very well. Evidence indicates that Sundalions come from the Sky Islands, so it would be a triumph to grow them here. Even better, our research also indicates that consuming them may impart a resistance to gloom, so... Oh-ho, uh -oh, you really do like these Sundalions. I can't say I understand all this Sky Island and gloom business, but if this plum garden is helping your research, I'm pleased as can be. All right, good news. Good news, and the better news is... Oh, I'm running through the carrots. The better news is, check this. I got it, dude. She's just getting worse and worse. I need to hurry and make her a porridge that will help her with her gloom sickness. But I have one, huh? What is that gentle aroma? Is that a porridge I smell? Could it be? Did you make a porridge that can help with gloom sickness? Give it a try. Well, what did you say this was again? A sunny veggie porridge? I've never made anything sunny before. Maybe this will help my grandmother. There we go. Sun to lions. I did a good thing. Mm -hmm. Well, Grandmother, how is it? Hi. Thank you, Lastly. Uh, that was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Oh. Grandmother, your complexion, the color's coming back to your cheeks. Hi. There we go. Hey, look, are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge, and it's like she was never even sick. Oh. So you were the one who made that porridge for me. Such a gentle flavor. I, it didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit, too. Thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. <laughs> Grandmother, what are you doing up? Ah. Oh, Clary, I'm so sorry I worried you. But this nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge, so I'm feeling much better now. Whoop. Hold on, you're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? I guess I knew that that was Lassie's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Ah. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Lastly. Huh? You knew? <laughs> you can't get anything by her, Lastly. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in, in Hateno Village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of Enchanted by ourselves. Trust me, you deserve this. Hmm. 
Clary, are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, but there's something else I want more. I want to make Enchanted a success right here in my beloved Kakariko Village, right next to my beloved grandmother, and ah. I dream of someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you designed, lastly. So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Hitano Village and come back to us with a, uh, come back to us a fashion icon. <laughs> you mean it? Thank you, Clary. And thank you, grandmother. <sighs> well, now that grandmother's all better, I think it's time to head back to the shop. I've got to make sure our prices are back to normal and everything's ready for our customers. You should come by Enchanted yourself. I should, shouldn't I? I should go back and see if the prices are a little more reasonable. <coughs> Thank you so much for your help. I made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it all ourselves. I think it turned out pretty tasty, though, so I'd love to give you some to take on your journey. All right, an energizing veggie porridge without, you know, uh, just vegetables, milk, and rice. Great. Yeah! I'm going to work hard for my big sister. Just watch. I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. All right. So the gloom-born illness is complete. And really the only thing left is to figure out how to get up in that ring. I do not know how. I really don't. There's a soup ladle right there. I want to go check out Enchanted, though, just to see what kind of uh, prices we're looking at now. And that's the... Uh, let's just jump over here. Let's go take a peek. There we go. Good evening. Clary's back. How much are these now? Oh, I just want to see. They're only 800 now. I can afford one of these. All right. Good to know. Good to know. I don't know if I need to, like, if stealth is something that I need to do uh, to not make noise to get up there. I don't know. I almost want to see if I, if, do I have anything stealth worthy right now? I think I have one thing, right? I do have this. My stealth is up a little bit. I don't know if I need like three stealth to get into that ring ruin. I mean, I don't know if that's what it's saying. I really don't. But uh, let me think. Let me think what I want to do next. Yeah, I do want to get up there. There's something going on up there. I don't know what the benefit of going up there. They're all so high up. What's up, dude? Ooh. Hey, they're going to sleep without the seeing. Okay, so did you visit the ring ruins? I, I would if I wasn't so scared of heights. No one is allowed to visit the one room that's floating above the village. But if you've read one of the slabs, any, yeah, so I've read what's on the slab. Oh. What? You went to see them for me? So what did they say? And I'm telling him what he said. I could show him. Mm. Back in ancient Hyrule, people called sages protected the kingdom. I see. How fascinating. I bet those sages were nearly as strong and wise as Princess Zelda herself. And maybe even Zelda was a sage, right? I feel bad about asking you to find all, all this out for me since you're sightseeing too. But we're so close now. I need to know what each one of the slabs say. Uh, here's another one. You, you had a chance to see more? So yeah, I did. So I've seen all of them. Except for the one in the fifth. There were once people blessed by wind, fire, water, and lightning as well as time and light. And those people used secret stones to amplify their powers? Wow. They must have had some pretty amazing rocks way back <laughs> when. All right. Two left. I read. Yep. Here we go. Another one. Hey, you don't think the upheaval is some kind of sign the Demon King's resurrection, do you? Haha, <laughs> it, it, it can't be, right? I, I must be overthinking things. Ooh. Thank you for telling me about the slab. Truly fascinating stuff. Uh. All right. Oh. So it's not enough to be exceptional. You need, you need a secret stone to be a sage, or so it seems, at least. But what is a secret stone? If that's special, if, 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 it's, if it's that special, I'm sure its beauty would put a diamond to shame. So what was the fourth one I see? Mm -hmm. hmm, wait a second. If you look at all those slab messages together, don't they sort of read like one single message? You don't think, could the rest of the message be on the slab in the floating ring ruin? But why? Hmm. Oh, this is impossible. Trying to figure this stuff out is making my head hurt. Oh, well, at the end of the day, I learned a little something about our history. Thank you for everything. From one sightseer to another, I'd like to reward you with my personal favorite travel necessities. Thunder wing butterfly. Okay. Great. Those are thunder wing butterflies. I caught these unusual insects on my travels through the Farron region. They only come out in the rain. You can boil them with monster parts to make an elixir that grants you resistance to electricity. Remember that. It'll come in handy on your travels. Take it from me. All right, then. I'll see you around. All right, so that's a trip through history as well. And here's the thing. I don't know if I'm supposed to make it up there now, but maybe I'll do a little research. I don't know. I'll see you next time. Four more. It was fun being here. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. Goodbye.
I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.